last time on Total Drama Destiny. The contestants had to find a gilded Chris somewhere in the action set while avoiding getting tagged by Zoe. In the end, Trent was voted off, leaving us with only five competitors remaining. This time, we're going back to where it all started on Camp Wawanaqua. Well, technically we rebuilt the island, but it's basically the same place as before. Which of our final five will be going home tonight? And will there be any other surprises? Find out soon, right here on Total Drama Destiny. We're once again back on this stupid island. I know. I always hated this place. Are you alright? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. Your aura shows something is on your mind, though. Nothing is troubling him, okay? Right, Scott? Right, Scott? Damn, you can't hide anything from that woman. Uh, I need to focus on winning. It's challenge time. Meet up with me near the cabins. Already? Fine, I guess. There's no time for complaining now, campers. I really hope I don't have to hear that much longer. Uh, I need to focus on winning. I don't think I can win this still, though. If only there was a way to quit the game and still get the million dollars. Welcome! Gather round! Oh, nice. The same crappy cabins are still here as they always been. Yeah, and I still have to deal with the same crappy teens. Um, but I'm 20 now. And so am I! Whatever, you get my point though. Can I just explain the challenge, please? For today's challenge, each one of you will have 10 crystal dollars. Wow. Talk about worthless. Now here, we will be doing some auctioning. Items will come out one at a time. Whoever bids the most will get the item and spend all the money they bidded. Everyone else who bidded keeps their money. Some prizes may be hidden until someone buys them. And some of the prizes are less prizes and more like punishments. One of the hidden prizes will contain individual immunity, by the way. Is that clear? I don't get it. You know, this is why I like you. You're so dumb. <laughs> like a bunch of rocks. Anyways, our first item will be... Bang! Plus 10 extra Chris dollars. Oh, come on. No amount of money is worth being a shark's chew toy. I'll bid 3 Chris dollars. I'll bid 10 Chris dollars, I guess. Fair enough, you can have it. Lindsay wins the first bid. Enjoy your prize. More money is always good. Ah! Well then, I'm not waiting for him to come back. Won't Scott get hurt though? Why do you care about him so much? Well... I'm not heartless, okay? The second item here is a mystery. I'll bid two Chris dollars. I'll do three dollars. Well, I'm passing then. 
Congratulations, Dawn. Your prize is 10 apples. Food is always pretty good. Oh, hi there. I'm, I'm back. Is Fang still on your tail? I managed to trap him in the cafeteria. Well, that's good then. The third item here is you get an extra vote for tonight. I'll bid eight dollars. I'm bidding all ten right now. Fair enough. Enjoy the extra vote. Our next item here is another mystery. I'll bid five. Y you sure you don't want to bid more, Lindsay? I'll stick with five. I'll bid seven. Yeah, I'm saving my money. All right, Scott, you get to stay with me and Chef for the night. I guess that's okay, then. Now, our next item is a vote remover. This lets you secretly remove another player's vote tonight. If you choose Courtney, she'll only lose one vote. I'll bid three. I'll bid five. I'll bid seven. Oh, come on. Let me have this one, okay? I'm bidding eight. Fine, I'll let you have it. But promise me you'll let me have the next item. Yeah, that's fine. Noah wins the bid. Now, we have another mystery bid here. I want to bid two Chris dollars. I'll bid four Chris dollars. I'll bid seven then. Congratulations, Lindsay. You win Feral Ezekiel. That freak? That's not a prize. Well, he does have uh, something special on his neck. A marshmallow necklace. Yes, if you can give me that marshmallow, you get individual immunity. What happened to this poor creature? <laughs> oh, and that's it for the auctions, by the way. Come back here, Ezekiel. Am I allowed to give you the marshmallow necklace for immunity by any chance? I never said there was a rule against stealing someone else's prize, now did I? So I guess you can. All right, Scott, you're coming with me. We have a creature to catch. Where did he go? Oh, hi, Chris. I know you'll look back at this footage later. He ruined my life, and now I have nothing left to lose except to try to get my sweet revenge on you. Yes, I managed to sneak on the boat with the rest of you to the island. I can be very quiet when I want to be. How else can I sneak away from the cops now? I'm glad to see you fixed my paycheck issues. Yeah, I wish you didn't notice. What did you say? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Uh, get her off me! I'm trying, dude! He stole my beat by a bazooka. Oh well, not my problem. <laughs> I don't care if our contestants get injured by it. So, Don, I have a question for you. Who are you planning to vote for tonight? I'm voting for Courtney. He's mine. What? Whatever. I'm gonna vote for Courtney, too. Well, unless she wins immunity again. I'm coming for you, Zeke! You know what? I should make a trap for him. I'm good at those! Good idea, Scott. Let's do that. I just need to ask one question. Sure. What is it? Maybe it's just me, but I'm worried you're getting a little too close to Dawn. Do you remember all the times she's injured you? Oh, don't worry. I'm just trying to get her on our side so we can get rid of Noah. Okay. I'll believe you. For now. I don't trust Dawn at all. If she wants to try and be the next boyfriend stealer, she can try all she wants. But she will fail. I'll trust Scott for now, though. I'm putting myself in a dangerous position here with Courtney and Don. 
To be honest, they're both pretty cool, but in different ways, if that makes sense. Chris, uh, I just found Blandly on the cameras. What? You gotta be joking. Where? He was nearby Lindsay on the east side of the island. Should we call the police? No, I can't afford the police coming to this island. I've already bribed authority for too many of my crimes. I'll have to bribe them even more if they come here. Well, Blainley said that she's coming for you. She wants revenge. Alright. Well, go find her then. Alright, no need to yell, man. Well, the trap is complete. And I see Ezekiel just over there. Oh no. Ow! Are you okay, Courtney? Obviously not! Just trap him and win immunity for yourself if you can! Well, I guess we're both stuck now. So, n nice weather today, wouldn't you agree? Okay, I see him. And it looks like he has some kind of weapon. I can distract him if you want. Sure, it's better than me doing it. Hi there! Come here! What a poor, misguided soul! Come here, you! Stop! This poor creature here needs our help urgently! We must not hurt him, okay? Seriously? Can we help him out after I win the challenge? Don, where did you go? We must help him, Chris. I really don't care at all. You did win immunity, though, so congratulations. Everyone, back to camp. Don has come back with the marshmallow necklace. That was supposed to be my win. I don't understand this game sometimes. I want to vote for Noah. That guy's too smart. Well, you have two votes, so you should be able to get rid of him. He can get rid of one of my votes, though. So I have to make sure he doesn't know. Come here! Um, <laughs> sure. I guess. It's okay, Courtney. Nothing can ever go wrong on this show. Well, except for all the bad things that happened to us. Anyways, I'm going to go now. Bye, Courtney! What the hell do you want, Dawn? I want to team up with you, Lindsay, Noah, to get rid of Courtney. What are you, crazy? Courtney is my boyfriend. Wait, I mean girlfriend. You know what I mean. Just listen to me for a moment. Do you all understand that? I don't know if this is a good idea. Okay. What do you think about this, then? Well, then, that was very nice, but, but I'm still not entirely sure if this was such a good idea. All right. I'll give you time to think about it all. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to make a decision very quickly, though, about whether I want to stay loyal with Courtney or be with Dawn. Because this could get... ugly. Quickly. I can't believe I just saw that! I hope Courtney doesn't find out about that. Luckily, I'm great with secrets. Like, I haven't told anyone about how I accidentally burned out Tyler's house, and I want to get him a new house if I win the money. Wait a minute. What was that for? Um, Don wanted us to vote off Noah. <laughs> I really don't like this weird girl. You know that, right? Hey there, Courtney. Just thought I'd let you know. I've told Don and Lindsay to vote you off, okay? Are you sure about that? I just got told by Scott that Don was voting you off. Well, Scott is clearly lying. I'd be very worried if I was you, Courtney. I have a solution to your problem, though. And what would that be? 
Everyone meet up with Chris at the campfire ceremony now. I'll talk when we get there. Welcome to the campfire ceremony. One of you will be walking the classic dark of shame tonight. All right, Courtney. The deal is that I can vote for myself instead of you. But then if you win the competition, I get half your money. Sure, I can get rid of you right now, but you see, I don't stand much of a chance of winning this thing. I know you'll have a good chance of winning, especially with Scott as your ally. You can either accept my deal or get voted off. Hey, hey, Noah, c can you shut up, please? I'm doing something here. Chris, Noah is currently making a proposal. Hmm, and what shall that be? Courtney wins the money. It should be legally binded that I get half of her money. Um, sure, I guess that's fine, but only if you both agree to right now. I agree. Do you agree, Courtney? That had to be one of the hardest decisions I've ever made. On one hand, Noah could just be lying to me that Lindsay and Dawn are voting me off. But if he's telling the truth, I would rather potentially get $500,000 than get nothing at all again. I did make a decision, though. All right then, interesting choice, Courtney. Before you all go ahead and vote, it's worth noting that Dawn is immune, and it's also worth noting that Courtney has an extra vote, and Noah can take away someone's vote. Now, let the voting begin! I'm not sure who to vote for. Either Courtney or Scott. I'm voting for Noah. I would like to vote for Courtney. Alright, I have five contestants here, but only four marshmallows on my plate. Dawn gets the first marshmallow. Hey Chris, I really feel like that poor creature should go to the hospital to get cured. Who, Ezekiel? He looked the same as he always has. <laughs> Besides, I don't care about him at all. Fine, you can deal with him annoying you for the rest of your life then. He raises a good point. He's way too difficult to manage. Jeez, alright then. I suppose I've had enough fun torturing him. You can get you can deal with uh getting rid of Ezekiel, Chef. Now let's finally proceed with the votes. Lindsay, you are safe for now. Nice! Yes, very nice indeed. Scott is also safe. Courtney and Noah, one of you will be going home tonight. You did vote for yourself, right? <laughs> I don't know, did I? And the person going home is... Noah! Yes! Can't wait to get my half a million dollars, Courtney. Any final words? Do I have to jump in the water with Fang? Um, I want to see you get hurt, so yes. Whatever. Who will go home next? With plenty of tension arising, find out what drama will unfold next time on... Total Drama... Destiny!